What if I told you that this cell phone could last for a hundred days on a single charge? That's the claim from Unihertz on their newest phone, the Tank. And having used it for a little over a week now, I believe them. We'll talk about it today on this edition of Steve Alicious Tech. So here it is, the Tank. Let's go around the hardware. Then I'll get to that hundred day charge claim. Then I'm going to talk about the price because it is impressive for what you get. So this is it here. The Unihertz Tank, and it follows that Unihertz design language, that industrial design language that I like. I happen to like a lot. You got the aluminum alloy. You got the soft touch plastic here, the TPU. You got the red accents. I just love what they do with it. Either love it or you hate it, and I happen to love it quite a bit. So we'll get to this guy. This is the camping light. I got video of this in action. This is the LED field for it. 1,000 lumen camping light. It's basically a spotlight on the back of your phone. Different camera sensors here. It does have night vision, which will display as well. That's a 20 megapixel night vision sensor. The main shooter is 108 megapixels. Not gonna be a thing, we'll show a sample, but that's not why you're getting this. On the one side, the right side, you have a power on and off. Also doubles as your fingerprint sensor. Volume up and down. We have the 6.8 inch LCD display, 1080p though. And I'll tell you, the universe display on this one, we'll show you. Really nice, good brightness, good color accuracy, which I like. Nice, punchy colors, despite it being an LCD. And the 1080p on a display of this size really helps out because when you deal with these bigger phone displays at 720p, which you get on a lot of these rugged phones, you start to notice it. Now, you're not exactly counting out pixels, but you could tell the difference. And this one is a nice, sharp 1080p panel. On the left side of the device, we have the regular programmable key, which you have on the peasant flashlight for now, the little LED flash that you get with the camera, that's this one. But then there's this inset one here that's actually part of the aluminum frame that you could push down. This one you can't just push. This one you have to push and hold to activate that thousand lumen lamp because it gets intense and you could actually probably do some damage to somebody in a hurry. On the bottom, you have a little flap because it uh, is IP68 water resistant. So you have the USB-C charging, which is 66 watt fast charging and the 66 watt charger comes in the box which is nice, a little novelty these days. 3.5 inch, millimeter, uh, millimeter inch headphone jack. And then you got at the top here, the SIM card to tray, which you pull it out. One side is your SIM card. The second side could be another SIM or it could be a micro SD card expansion. And you have an IR blaster on the top because it's unihertz, so why not? So let's talk about that battery claim. 22,000 milliamp hour battery located in this. 8 gigs of RAM as well, by the way, and 256 gigs of storage. But 22,000 milliamp hour battery. You pair that with the MediaTek 6789, which sounds made up, but it's fine. It, it's, it's fine. It works well. It's powerful for enough what you're going to do. So you got a power efficient chip, LCD panel, a gigantic battery on the back, and that's the formula for that kind of battery life. And this has been off the charger since last, this, today is late Sunday evening. This was on off the charger since last Saturday at midnight. So almost eight full days of usage. And that's carrying it around, using it, showing it to all my friends. Hey, look at what this thing could do. Turn it on the massive spotlight, all the rest of it. Right there, and you can see 95% left after eight days of usage comes at a cost of weight 560 grams my fellow americans don't worry i've already done the googling for you pound and a quarter this guy and you might be saying well why would i ever want to carry around something that's a pound and a quarter in my pocket well a bunch of different uses i can think of the first thing is if you're an avid camper or outdoors person or something like that and you like to go out into the woods and you like to go for a weekend long weekend week at a time what would you rather do Carry around one of those ridiculous solar rechargers, which are huge and give you about 1% of battery every six hours. Carry around 17 different battery banks with you to try to recharge your device every day. Or carry around something like this that could not only be charged the entire week and then some. You don't even have to worry about it. But also gives you the functionality of that night vision camera, which let's turn on so you can see it here. The infrared. 
works really well. No issues. So you're out at night. You want to see what the, what it's like in the dark. Trying to pick out a campsite. If you don't want to use the light for whatever reason, you don't want to attract animals or bugs, you could go ahead and use the night vision. That's really useful. We're gonna well, let's get to this this lamp now. We'll show it. Here's the camping lamp in action to show what it can do in a pitch black environment. This is me walking out. It's dark. Can't see anything with the iPhone. All of a sudden, power this thing on, and it's daytime. Absolutely phenomenal. You can see it from the air. If you're a camper, like I said, if you're lost in the woods, you injure yourself, you're alone, you fall off a mountain, uh, you, you break an ankle, You're not. other people aren't with you, you can't get back to other people, you need to be able to hail SOS from the sky. You can do a lot of different things with this thing, and I'll show you the app for that now. You go into the toolbox here with the Unihertz app, toolbox, and you can see the camping lamp. So it'll do SOS for you with the back lamp. It'll do explosion flash, just kind of flashing back and forth to get people's attention. And then you have the different brightness settings from slightly bright all the way to full bright. But as far as a regular phone as well, it does the job. Perfectly snappy. You can see it on Instagram. No issues. Powered up. You see how fast? I mean, you don't scroll that fast. But if you were to scroll that fast, you see it could keep up. Beautiful display. Under display camera for front-facing camera this is a look it feels like a tempered glass screen protector that they put on this guy as well to kind of give it that rugged feel and it absolutely is rugged you with the weight you get that which is fine but this is definitely a phone that you don't need a case for this is a phone that you could take if you're a construction worker you get to a job site early you need to be able to use a light some early in the morning there's no light there's no sunlight anything like that you take this with you you got the night vision you got the camping lamp a bunch of different uses for people who know how to use this device. And to me, this is the best rugged device on the market. It's the most purposely designed one. I love how well built it is. I've never had a problem with Unihertz design or build quality. It is an absolute, I mean, the name is tank, but it is built like a tank. You could just see this thing. It's phenomenal hardware and it's really impressive in the hand. And it's just nice to just go through a day, even just for a regular user. Let's say you don't mind the weight. It was great all weekend to just go out. We were we were away, so we were monitoring our cat Xavier on the cat cams, and you just pull up the cat cam and just run it for an hour and not have to worry about it, not even thinking about your battery, what else you have to do that day, where you have to go, where your next charge is coming from. You could just have, once you charge this thing up, that's it. Go ahead and use it. You don't have to worry about it for a while. So there is some benefit to that. But definitely if you're somebody who goes out in the woods, you're an emergency response person, you need to be able to find people. If it's night, there's an accident. You need to find stuff. You get there early. Whatever it happens to be. Definitely, if you own a company and you you have to order a fleet of these things for your company, construction, plumbing, HVAC, you're going up. You're trying to look into those vents that get in these old houses. You're in an attic. You're in these vents looking through these heating systems. This lamp is definitely going to help you with that. You pair that with the night vision on the back for the camera. You have a really useful tool here if you know how to use it. And so the weight kind of weight consideration kind of goes away when you realize the extra stuff that you could do with it. So you could use all that stuff and get through several days on the job out in the woods, not have to worry about a charge. It, it, there's, there's value there. And when you talk about it at $339, link will be in the description. I don't think we even mentioned it. $339. Incredible, incredible value when you think about what you get. Android 12, running well. Always love the versions of Android that Unihertz release. Very slim down, not bulky. They, they can't be bulky. You know, they're running a relatively budget media tech. It can't be bogged down by a lot of bloatware and all the rest of it. And it isn't. They do a fantastic job with this Unihertz device. But just an overall phenomenally well-built device. It will absolutely get the job done, get you through the day. And with that incredible, incredible battery life, it's, it's useful to a lot of people if you're in the market for something that's like a rugged. Forget those cat phones. There's other things you see, uh, you see on there that pretend to be rugged. This is an absolutely rugged device. Fun to use. You'll impress your friends, but you can get some work done with this as well. And that is the point from Unihertz on this guy. The Unihertz Tank. Link will be in the description. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve-licious day.